The free patent basis of OCT 543, which the government claimed to be the mother title, granted in March 17, 1932, Public Land Act or Commonwealth Act No. 141, had been invalidated by Itala State's position that the Public Land Act only took effect in November 7, 1936. Nineteen thirty six lang at karoon ng bisa. The court noted that it had several decree numbers. Two of them were 4974 issued to a couple from Osami City. City. 667 surfaced in Pangasinan but could be found in Pasong Tamo, Quezon City. With all the certified sworn affidavits of the authorities before the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee, the court noticed that there was a modus operandi. The grand design, land grabbing of the LRC Bureau of Lands in conspiracy with their cohorts real estate, has caused the root of some 20 million fake land titles over the subject lands. Nevertheless, the government position paper espoused Commissioner Nobleja's declaration that all that OCT numbers 1 up to OCT 4085 and OCT number T-4086 to TCT-100,000 substantiated by Director Bugarin of the NDI from his sworn affidavits that all the titles were marked as exhibits na ang lahat ng mga titulong ginamit sa korte ay manifested that all land titles marked under the exhibit of D1 to D33 were fraudulent and derived from spurious origin. On the other hand, OCT 01-4 had been found registered to Lacan Acuna Tagian Taliano on October 3, 1904, in the Register of Deeds, Morong Rizal, now Pasig. This was under the torrent system, when the American colonial government called for land registration and automatically converted 01-4 from being a titulo de compra to torrent's title. TCT-498 was registered around 11.30 a.m., November 4, 1932. ay noong bandang alas 11.30 ng umaga, November 4, 1932. This can be found in page 37, book number 44, issued by Register of Deeds of Rizal, in the name of Esteban Benitez Taliano. TCT 408, under the name of Gregorio Madrigal Acop, was also registered in the same office. Based on these observations, the authorities declared OCT numbers 1-100,000 as null and void and had no value. Ay null and void. Walang halaga at di pwedeng itransaksyon sa banko. It validated that OCT 01-4 TCT 498 and 408 were authentic. In the conclusion of the compromise agreement, the court asserted and laid its cornerstone. Even if the prescription law over the registered land under the torrent system cannot guarantee it all from the evil attempts, still, the court remains proudly believing on its uncowed determination and judgment that the rule must stand vigorously against anyone nevertheless how painful it may seem for the sake of sound stability of our land registration system and for sound judicial system. Further on, the court specified to the executive branch to purchase the islands of Luzon and Visayas from the Taguian Taliano family. Sa pagbili ng pinag-uusapang lupa sa kapuluan ng Luzon at Visayas mula sa pamilyang Taguian Taliano.
On the issue of gold in 1972, a former Taguian Taliano caretaker testified in court. Here is an excerpt of the testimony of Reverend Father Antonio Diaz, also known as Colonel Severino Santa Roman. Alias Colonel Severino Santa Romana. Ako po ang otorizadong pumirma sa pag-withdraw ng idinipositong gold bullion mula sa kahadayero ng Central Bank. Sinamantala ko rin ito para mag-withdraw gaya ng iniuto sa akin ni dating Honorable Senate President Ferdinand E. Marcos noong September 8, 1963. Ako rin po ang sumama kay Don Esteban Benitez Taliano para ibiyahe ang sinasabing bullion ng gintong 617 metric tons papuntang Vatican, Your Honor, noong 1939 para iiwas ang kayamanan sa kasagsaga ng World War II noon, Your Honor. Mga ilang kilo ang nawithdraw ninyo ng panahon na yun. Ayon ho sa usapan namin ni Senate President Marcos noon, magwi-withdraw kami ng tatlong tonelada o tatlong libong kilo. Pero nang makarating kami ni Senate President Marcos sa kahadiyero ng Central Bank, kinumbinsi po ako nila ni Central Bank Governor Andres Castillo para pumirma sa withdrawal document na umabot sa 35,000 tonelada noon. Wala po akong nagawa kundi pumirma. Some of the gold have disappeared no? in the hands of uh, individuals who manipulated no? this gold. Uh, they will surface in time because they are high profile uh, personalities and high profile successors in interest. Of the, prof- of the personalities who had something to do with the disappearances of the gold. No? Disappearances uh, from the Philippines of the gold and uh, their flight into other areas. As the judiciary sanctioned the executive branch for the revision of the Taguian Taliano clan, all public domain lands are not yet compensated. I public domain at wala pang kabayaran. It also stipulated these terms and conditions. Ordering the national government, Office of the President of the Philippines and his staff, the National Treasurer and his staff, the Solicitor General and his staff, and the governor.